Life doesn't make any sense without interdependence. We need each other. And the sooner we learn that, the better for us all. Once you start making the effort to wake yourself up, that is, be more mindful in your activities, you suddenly start appreciating life a lot more. We are what we are because we have been what we have been. And what is needed for solving the problems of human life and motives is not moral estimates, but more knowledge. If you want to be creative, stay in part a child with the creativity and invention that characterizes children before they are deformed by adult society. If you deliberately plan on being less than you are capable of being, then I warn you that you'll be unhappy for the rest of your life. Everything can be taken from a man, but the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitudes in any given set of circumstances. We shouldn't teach great books. We should teach a love of reading. Knowing the contents of a few works of literature is a trivial achievement. Being inclined to go on reading is a great achievement. Probably the biggest insight is that happiness is not just a place, but also a process. Happiness is an ongoing process of fresh challenges, and it takes the right attitudes and activities to continue to be happy. It is not primarily our physical selves that limit us, but rather our mindset about our physical limits. For happy people, time is filled and planned. For unhappy people, time is unfilled, open and uncommitted. They postpone things and are inefficient. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen, but, if one will, are to be lived. We need four hugs a day for survival. We need eight hugs a day for maintenance. We need 12 hugs a day for growth. The best way to find out whether you're on the right path. Stop looking at the path. Every person on this earth is full of great possibilities that can be realized through imagination, effort, and perseverance. Happiness is not out there for us to find. The reason that it's not our there is that it's inside us. When we encounter an unexpected challenge of threat, the only way to save ourselves is to hold on tight to the people around us and not let go. The truth is, bad things don't affect us as profoundly as we expect them to. That's true of good things too. We adapt very quickly to either. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. Be content with what you have. Rejoice in how things are. When you realize there's nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. Compassion does not render people tearful idlers, moral weaklings, or passive onlookers but individuals who will take on the pain of others, even when given the chance to skip out on such difficult action or in anonymous conditions. When we are open to new possibilities, we find them. Be open and skeptical of everything. It's more selfless to act happy. It takes energy, generosity, and discipline to be unfailingly lighthearted. Everyone takes the happy person for granted. Happiness is the only thing that multiplies when you share it. Genuine feelings cannot be produced, nor can they be eradicated. The body sticks to the facts. Becoming is better than being. I don't know what's worse, to now know what you are and be happy, or to become what you've always wanted to be and feel alone. A wonderful fact to reflect upon, that every human creature is constituted to be that profound secret and mystery to every other. Our wounds are often the openings into the best and most beautiful part of us. The 
pendulum of the mind oscillates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. The human race is a monotonous affair. Most people spend the greatest part of their time working in order to live, and what little freedom remains so fills them with fear that they seek out any and every means to be rid of it. How hurtful it can be to deny one's true self and live a life of lies just to appease others. Happiness cannot be pursued, it must ensue. The human mind is not a terribly logical or consistent place. Reality denied comes back to haunt. A life that is burdened with expectations is a heavy life. Its fruit is sorrow and disappointment. But the human tongue is a beast that few can master. It strains constantly to break out of its cage, and if it is not tamed, it will turn wild and cause you grief. People who need to bully you are the easiest to push around. We forget very easily what gives us pain. Every criticism, judgment, diagnosis, and expression of anger is the tragic expression of an unmet need. The primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation, but your thoughts about it. Be aware of the thoughts you are thinking. When we suffer anguish, we return to early childhood because that is the period in which we first learnt to suffer the experience of total loss. It was more than that. It was the period in which we suffered more total losses than in all the rest of our life put together. The world makes much less sense than you think. The coherence comes mostly from the way your mind works. Whole life is a search for beauty. But when the beauty is found inside, the search ends and a beautiful journey begins. We often feel that we lack something and seem to see that very quality in someone else, promptly attributing all our own qualities to him too, and a kind of ideal contentment as well. And so the happy mortal is a model of complete perfection, which we have ourselves created. Vulnerability is not knowing victory of defeat. It's understanding the necessity of both. It's engaging. It's being all in. The sole purpose of human experience is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. It is a predisposition of human nature to consider an unpleasant idea untrue. And then it is easy to find arguments against it find out what is truly individual in ourselves, profound reflection is needed. And suddenly, we realize how uncommonly difficult the discovery of individuality is. People often say that this or that person has not yet found himself. But the self is not something one finds. It is something one creates. <laughs>